So we do like to vary the content of our vlogs um, a bit, but unfortunately this week we've decided to come back to the same location um, that we came to a couple of weeks ago and photograph hares again. Well, there was reasoning behind it. We kind of just wanted an outdoor fix and wanting to see wildlife. So there was a logical reason behind that. Um, and also we had the idea of uh, making it more interesting, setting a little challenge. So I like to be mobile, as Sam would put it. I like to stalk hares, try and find them and then get as close as possible. Um, ideally hiding my silhouette behind a tree or something like that. Um, whereas Sam is a lot more of a patient person. Or lazy, depending on which way you look at yeah, it. Yeah, depending on how you look at it. And thinks that the better technique is just to sit and wait. Yeah, so we're going to try dividing and conquering today. Um, yep. I'm going to take a more stationary approach um, and hope that um, I'll be able to capture some images of hares whilst I'm sitting and waiting um, for them to come out. Uh, whereas Hannah is going to be a bit more mobile. Indeed. And we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. So I've just spotted a deer as I was on my way up to the spot where I want to sort of camp out. Um, it's not in a very photogenic position, um, but it's just moving along the line of um, kind of bramble bushes eating blackberries. Um, so I'm just going to sit by this tree and try and take a few images. And then um, well, we'll see what we get, but the light's quite low. And um, it, yeah, it's not making the best composition to be honest. Uh, but we'll see what we get. So I'm at the edge of a field now, which is where I was hoping to, to camp out. Um, and we've, we've got a deer just sat on the edge of a field, so um, I've managed to get a few images of that. It is a little way off, um, and actually Hannah's got a 400mm lens and I'm having to make do with a 300mm lens. Um, so it would have been nicer if it was a little bit closer. I don't want to get too near to it though, because it's quite relaxed where it is at the moment and I don't want to spook it. Um, and I'm fairly certain I saw a hare actually just as I was coming up to the field um, but it scampered off along the edge of the field. Um, so I'm thinking this might be a good spot to um, sort of find somewhere with a little bit of cover where I can get settled down. Um, now I didn't bring the camouflage with me today so I'm going to have to make do with just uh, black clothing which is not ideal to be quite honest. Um, but I'll try and find somewhere where maybe there's a little bit of foliage or something which I can just provide, use to provide a little bit of cover um, and hunker down. And um, with any luck, if I just keep silence, I probably won't be able to do much sort of speaking to the camera. A little bit of luck, um, those hairs might come out a bit later and hopefully we'll be able to get some images. So after about 20 minutes or so, the hares did eventually decide to come back out of the woods. They didn't come back close, but I did manage to get a few images. 
Sadly, Hannah's walk was less successful and she didn't manage to get any images. Right, well, I, I think that was a semi-useful exercise, wasn't it? A bit of a mixed bag, I yeah, think. Yeah, you know, yeah. It wasn't a very good scientific experiment. No, no. Um, I think that, uh, well, you didn't have a huge amount of success with your roaming no, exercise. No, I, I decided to stray away from the field that I know hares live in. Um, I don't know why. I think mm. I didn't want to disturb Sam. I thought kind of divide and conquer, so let's go elsewhere. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I should know by now that this is the hare field yeah. and this is where you find the hares. Yep. I think that was the key. So for my approach of sitting and waiting, because I knew this was the location where hares were, um, it, it worked out better. Um, and I think that's the thing is, is by, you know, if you're going to a new location where you don't really know necessarily where those animals will be um, frequenting, um, then having a more mobile approach and moving around is, is very useful. Um, but once you've established the sort of areas where the animals will go to frequently, sometimes it can be worth spending a little bit of time waiting because actually mm -hmm. when I was waiting here in the hare field, there were times when the hares would disappear and they'd be gone for quite a while. And then just by s sitting quietly, and I wasn't particularly well concealed, but just by sitting quietly, they'd mm -hmm. come back out again. Yeah. Um, and so that approach worked quite well. Um, so anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then do consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, we promised to go to another location at some stage. <laughs> um, we won't be coming here all the time. Um, but yeah, uh, and uh, please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care.